Outgoing State Senator John Stinner was honored Wednesday for his years of service in the Nebraska Legislature. KNEB.TV News starts right now. From your trusted source for news in western Nebraska and eastern Wyoming, this is KNEB.TV News. Presented by Platte Valley Companies, premier provider of financial services. Hello, I'm Ryan Murphy. This is KNEB.TV News, powered by Platte Valley Companies. Thanks for joining me. In our top story, Gehring Senator John Stinner was honored yesterday during a luncheon and a final legislative wrap sponsored by the Scotts of Gehring Chamber Government Affairs Committee. Stinner receiving a number of items to mark his eight years in service for the panhandle, which the Chamber's Government Affairs Committee co-chair Don Wolf said was significant and meaningful. It was a big investment of his time, both of his time and Rita's, so we thank Rita also for allowing him to represent us for the last eight years. I think each one of us in this room could spend hours talking about the great things he's done for not only the state of Nebraska, but most importantly for Western Nebraska. In his remarks, Stinner said his work still isn't done and there are more hearings before the end of the year on state finances, the accounting for which he says has been a disgrace. In business, if you get a qualified opinion, two of them, you're gone. That whole management crew is gone. This is disgraceful. I, I just started to read the first 10 pages and I couldn't get by it. I'm embarrassed. There's no, no reason for it. Well, we had COVID, we had to do that. No, this is something that you have to do. This is sacred ground. The former CPA told the crowd two years of the state receiving qualified opinions that figures in their financial statements could not be relied upon. And if the state government was really run like a business, that would have already resulted in a complete change of the management team. Among the tokens of appreciations given to Stinner were keys to the cities of both Gehring and Scotch Bluff. Well, a conditional use permit for a limited beef processing operation in the north part of Gehring has been given the green light by the city council. On Monday evening, the body voted 6 to 1 in favor of granting the permit for Pumpkin Creek Meat Company to build and operate a small processing plant on the northwest corner of 7th Street and Lockwood Road. City engineer Annie Folk said the land does have certain advantages given it was the former site of the old Packerland processing plant. They processed a lot more cattle than they're currently planning on. And so it is, they do have access to our industrial line. Our wastewater treatment plant has two sides. One is to treat the residential wastewater and the other treats the industrial wastewater. And so this site is very well placed where it will go into the industrial side of the plant, which makes it far less concerning to us from a city utilities perspective. The company plans on processing up to 40 head of cattle per day brought in by stock trailer five days a week and would add landscaping to the site to soften its appearance for the public. The permit was approved with condition of no more than 1,000 head of cattle processed per month and wastewater would be metered, tested as requested by the city and would meet state environmental standards. We'll have more news right after this. At Platte Valley Bank, we want to help you take advantage of every adventure. We know you have plans, goals, and dreams. Let us help you with them. Whether it is building, buying, or renovating, we have the home loan or home equity line of credit to fit your needs. Stop in and see us at Platte Valley Bank and let us help make your dreams a reality. You belong here. Platte Valley Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. The 5055V from John Deere features the value of choice with a cab or open station, two-wheel drive or mechanical front-wheel drive, and transmission options. In addition to easy-to-use controls and loader compatibility, all of this is backed with a five-year powertrain warranty. The only thing easier than owning a 5 is operating one. 
see your John Deere dealer for details. Visit 21st Century Equipment with locations in Scottsbluff, Torrington, Bridgeport, and Alliance. Developing solutions, delivering success. Welcome back. With the 4th of July falling on a Monday this year, local firework retailers are seeing booming business. That's because firework sales started on a Saturday and they get two full weekends to sell. Yeah, so opening on a Saturday always helps because people have more free time and they don't have to work obviously the next day. So that, that uh, started our sales off really strong. And then ending on a weekend is always nice too because people sometimes will have the fifth off then um, so they can celebrate with their families. Fireworks Unlimited owner Greg Troutman is hoping that the trend continues this weekend. Not only does he have his flagship store on Avenue I, but also firework trailers in Gehring, Mitchell, and Bridgeport. Yeah, so obviously the third and fourth are the bulk of our sales because people are ready to get together for their family picnics and celebrations those days. So I'm expecting Saturday, Sunday, Monday, which would be the second, third, and fourth to be our biggest days. Troutman says supply chain issues were not as big of an impact for him this year and was able to fulfill about 95% of his orders. Well, Governor Pete Ricketts has signed a proclamation declaring it Religious Freedom Week in Nebraska. During a news conference in the governor's hearing room in Lincoln, Ricketts was joined by Christian, Hindu, and Jewish religious leaders to highlight the right to religious freedom and the social benefits that come from the free exercise of religion. The government told those in attendance that the state has a long history of welcoming people and benefiting from religious diversity and religious freedom needs to be fostered and protected. It's the first uh, right protected in the First Amendment, right? It's, and that's no accident because that is that cornerstone of religious freedom. It's one of the things that people have known for a long time. And in fact, one of the reasons why people come to our country is that religious freedom. Rickett says the fight for religious freedom is still ongoing and cited the recent Supreme Court decision that allowed a football coach to pray with his team after games. And Congressman Adrian Smith has opened nominations for the 2022 Angels in Adoption Award for Nebraska's 3rd District. The purpose of the Angels in Adoption Awards is to recognize those serving our communities and the love they provide to youth in need of adoption and foster care. To make a nomination, you can visit Congressman Smith's website and make your nomination by July 5th. We'll have more news right after this. We all have hard days at work. This is what champion bullfighter Dusty Tuckness does for a living. Now this is a tough day at work. When Dusty comes home, he likes things quiet. Windows and patio doors from Renewal by Anderson not only make things quiet, they cut your energy bills and add to the value of your home. No matter what you do for a living, Renewal by Anderson windows and patio doors. Because coming home should always feel this good. Morrow County Community Hospital and the behavioral health providers are here to help. Amber Dean specializes in mental health care, which includes medication and therapy across a person's lifespan. Melody Lisey helps people deal with a wide range of behavioral problems, from depression and anxiety to child psychiatry. Our dedicated team is committed to you and our community every time. At Morrow County Community Hospital, Bridgeport, Nebraska. Exceptional care, right here at home.
let's take a look what's happening on today's community calendar. First State Bank is now Riverstone Bank, community strong with the same people you know and trust. The Skyview Drive-In is a new take on an old theme. It's the perfect place to see beautiful sunsets and films that the whole family can enjoy. The historic Midwest Theater has been bringing us together for a long time. The Skyview Drive-In is another part of the Midwest Theater's commitment to this community. The Midwest Theater and Skyview Drive-In Theater. It doesn't matter how you get there, just get there. At Platte Valley Bank, we want to help you take advantage of every adventure. We know you have plans, goals, and dreams. Let us help you with them. Whether you are just starting the business you have always imagined or looking to grow your existing one, we have a business loan to fit your needs. Stop in and see us at Platte Valley Bank and let us help make your dreams a reality. You belong here. Platte Valley Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. And finally tonight, earlier this year, the Scottsdale Gearing Rotary Club hosted their Rotary Gold Fundraiser event. And Tuesday night, they were able to make their largest donation to date. This year's recipient is the Northfield Haven Project, which will provide housing for intellectually and developmentally disabled adults. Board President Pam Richter accepted the $70,000 check and says she's amazed at the group's generosity. I would like to echo everyone on the committee and thank you for all your hard work, everyone that made donations. The paddle auction was a wonderful success to raise money for the appliances. We are so appreciative of this. Thank you very much. The next closest housing project in the state for intellectually and developmentally disabled residents is more than 400 miles away in Omaha. 
During their Tuesday night ceremony, they also honored Julie Marshall with Rotarian of the Year honors, and outgoing President Sandy Gutwein passed the gavel to incoming President Ryan Windhorst. Well, that does it for us this time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Stay safe out there, and we'll see you here next time. <laughs>